Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install Couchbase server on Ubuntu machine. The process is same for Ubuntu and Debian Linux distro. Go to browser, then go to couchbase.com. This is the official website for Couchbase. Over mouse on learn, then click on server, then click on install and upgrade, then click on this expand button, then again expand install to install on Linux, then select Ubuntu and Debian. <coughs> Scroll down, download the meta package by copying this link before that you must have curl installed if you want to install curl then install it hit enter they are successfully downloaded let's verify see we have couchbase debian package sudo dpkg hyphen i then give this couchbase package that is couch just give one or two letters on use that press tab on your keyboard and hit enter provide the sudo privilege this package installed necessary information for couchbase server to install now update the ubuntu repository sudo apt update we have successfully updated we have two types of couch based servers community and enterprise if you want to install enterprise edition just copy this command if you want to install community edition after server then you have to give hyphen then community see Everything is same except the community. But in this video, I am going to install enterprise server. Just copy it or open terminal, clear the screen, sudo apt install couch couch base server. If you want to install community, just give hyphen and community. Okay, but I am going to install Couchbase Enterprise Server. For this, no need to give anything. Just give Couchbase Server and hit enter. See, its size is 477 megabytes. Wait until this download completes. After download, it automatically installs. See here the message, see you have successfully installed Couchbase server. Please browse and see the next line. Please browse to this one to configure your server. Also it is saying go to documentation. Also it has created the symlink for Couchbase. Go to documentation, see we have run the same command. If you want to go for specific version, you have to run this. You can ignore these two commands. Now go to browser then copy 
this link in your case see this is host name you can give host name see let me verify see this is the host name you can give host name or localhost or ip three years same go to firefox then paste that link it is simple server name or host name then port number 8091 and hit enter see we have installed enterprise edition 7.2.0 and build number is 5325 if you have an existing cluster you have to click on join existing cluster otherwise click on set up new cluster provide the cluster name i am giving cluster name as after school by default it has given the username as administrator you, you can change it or you can create later also i am going with the same username that is admin user then provide the password for this admin user then click on next don't save then check this i accept check both these options if you want to configure disk memory services you have to click on this one otherwise if you want to go with defaults click on finish with defaults i am going with finish with the defaults see this is the dashboard for couchbase server if you want to go for query just click on this query link here we have table json chart plan plan text advice if you want to go to data table click on it write query here then click on execute like this we can do if you want to take backup click on backup click on servers see at present i have only one server that is the local host if you click on it you get more information about this server the same way you can connect by using ip also http then ip check the ip if config see this is the ip copy it paste it and port number is 8091 in one and hit enter provide the username see a must be capital otherwise it will throw error then provide the password they can't don't save see we have successfully connected with ip also before we connected with host name or server name click on servers see name is same like name is same that is blue pipe you want to add server you have to click on add server then you have to provide host name or server administrator at present i have only one node so i am cancelling this one if you want to add users click on security then click on add user r2 schools it is optional i am giving the same username and password must be the case sensitive if you have an existing group you can add roles if you want to add add all privileges or full admin you can give this one if you want only root only you have to select based on the requirement you can set but i am going with full admin then click on add a user click on don't save see we have one user that is created now if you want to create group you can create group group is used to grant privilege for bulk users or similar type of users can be added to the group okay next we will see how to connect with new user using localhost just remove entire thing localhost and 8091 username you can go administrator or the recent user which we have created don't save see we are able to connect go to security see i have one user if you want to start stop restart couchbase server then go to terminal control l to clear the screen first verify whether couchbase server is started or not by running the command sudo systemctl status couchbase hyphen server if it is community server you have to give hyphen community 
and hit enter see it is active and running it has started 12 minutes ago press q to quit control l to clear the screen now we are going to enable this couch base server to be started at the time of started after the linux distro rebooted so give enable flag here and hit enter it is success now stop the couch base server sudo systemctl stop couch base server it is stopped also you see here last connection to this machine read okay now try to sign out now see we are unable to sign see it is saying unable to connect so again verify by running same system ctl command see it is inactive or dead so start it again let's verify the status see it is active now go to the same machine localhost then port number 8091 and hit enter see we have received the login page then provide the name admin see we got the error because i gave small case a but as i told you login name and password are case sensitive then click on sign in we have successfully connected so in this video we have seen how to install configure and connect to couchbase server on ubuntu 22.04 version the process is same on debian operating system also for more couchbase server or database videos or database tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you